namely that antidepressants often do not do what they promise and are in fact causing harm to many. Uh, Dr. Sick Steve Hoxie is suing tired. over Obamacare's employer mandate. It's time for a wellness time revolution. For a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hoxie Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. In. Now, Dr. Stephen Hoxie. Welcome to Dr. Hoetze's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hoetze, founder of the Hoetze Health and Wellness Center. Thanks for joining us today. And a reminder, we have our podcast online. You can go to HoetzePodcast.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E podcast.com to download all of our programs. All right. So the uh, vitamin that we're going to be talking about today. So it's a vitamin, but it's also a hormone. And you take it at night. What is the hormone? Slash vitamin, Doctor. Yeah, and it's uh, that's critical for health. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> that that's a live wire right there, isn't it? I'm talking. You're talking about her mitochondria producing a lot of energy today. I'm telling you what, mm-hmm. she's wired up, and we want you to be a live wire too. I want you to have good energy production. And in order to have good energy production, you got to have good sleep. Yes, Did you know that. There's another hint. Another hint. <laughs> <laughs> and the sleep hormone that God put in our body is made by the pineal gland, pineal, and it is melatonin. Mm -hmm. Melatonin is the natural sleep hormone that is really derived from a neurotransmitter called serotonin, and there's a certain enzymatic pathway, and the pineal gland converts it into melatonin, and then when the lights go down, your eyes should go down, you should become tired and sleepy and go to sleep, and it's, this is, and then, and when the lights go down, the melatonin's released from the pineal gland. And that has a sleep effect. It, we know through studies that it increases the speed at which a person goes to sleep. It increases the deepness of their sleep and the duration of their sleep. So when melatonin levels are good, when you're a younger person, I don't know what younger is to me anymore, <laughs> 50s. <laughs> <laughs> It but changes young, as we age. You know, what young is? In your 20s and 30s, you probably have pretty good levels of melatonin mm-hmm. production. But by the time 40 happens, our everything in the body begins to decline, including the melatonin production. So a very common uh, presenting symptom, or one of the presenting symptoms we see here at the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center, is people say, "I just take, I can't sleep. Mm-hmm. I don't get to sleep. I can't sleep soundly. I wake up. I don't feel rested when I do sleep." You know, they have they're having problems with insomnia. It's a and funny condition, actually. They say they're tired all the time, and yet they can't sleep. So part of this is the low production of melatonin. Now, we don't measure melatonin. We know it goes down. So a, as you age, and we know this can be a problem. So most individuals end up going to see their conventional doctor. And what they will put you on is a psychotropic drug. They will put you on not uncommonly to put them on Ambien or Lenestra, which are both benzodiazepines, which are like Valium, mm. and they're addictive, and there are withdrawal re- effects to that. They create a, a tremendous dependency. Uh, they may put them on anti-anxiety medication like you know, Xanax or something, Buspar or something like that. They may put them on antidepressants. A number of psychotropic drugs, which adversely affect the the production and the balance of the neurochemicals in your brain, which can lead to a host of problems. So if our sleep patterns change as we get older, older, and the sleep hormone, melatonin, which God put in the pineal, or was made from the pineal gland, and that's the way God set it up, in order to help us sleep goes down, why would I take a chemical, <laughs> especially a psychotropic chemical, to put me to sleep, when all I have to do is to take some natural melatonin. Oh, well, melatonin can't be patented. Oh, that's right. That is a problem. And because it? because it occurs in nature, it can't be patented. So mm-hmm. it is dramatically less expensive than the sleep medication and the antidepressants and the anti-anxiety medication. So there's no money in it for the drug companies. Oh, when something seems inexplicable, there's always going to be a money trail, I'll assure you. So if they're trying to pawn, your doctor's trying to pawn off on you a host of psychotropic drugs to help you sleep, just say, thank you, doc, but no thank you. Because I don't sleep because I have low, I have low levels of, of uh, Ambien in my body. Yeah, I'm not sleeping well. It's not because I have low levels of 
uh, any anxiety medication or antidepressants in my body. Something in my body has changed. Well, why don't we simply replenish what's gone down? And that would mm-hmm. be melatonin. So you can take melatonin um, at bedtime. You know, you might take it an hour before you go to bed. And you'll find that it'll help you fall asleep naturally and sleep soundly. I even have, it puts me in a deep sleep because I get, I dream when mm-hmm. I take my melatonin. I have some sometimes very vivid dreams. And I feel fresh when I wake up. Now, how much should you take? And you can find different levels. Strengths. One milligram, two milligram, Three. five, ten milligrams even. And from the what I have read, the normal production of, of melatonin in the body is somewhere around two milligrams. So I, and oftentimes less is better. By the way, it's not toxic. They have given college students thousand milligrams at bedtime without any harmful side effects. So because it's natural, you're not going to find it having a lethal dose and a, a strong toxic effect if you take, whether you take 5, 10, or 20 milligrams. But I found that sometimes uh, in, in the ca- in, with hormones and sometimes, in the, particularly in the case of melatonin, oftentimes less is better. So one or two milligrams is often just what you may need. You can always increase it a little bit. But I think that's where I'd start on one or two milligram dose of melatonin at bedtime. And, th- and why, do you, why do you need that sleep? Well, you, you know as well as I do, that's the time your body rejuvenates, your brain rejuvenates. Everything kind of gets rewired. Your body cleans out. You're on a 12-hour fast normally between the time you go to dinner and when you wake up the next morning. You normally, between meals, have fasted about 12 hours. And this is important. As your body goes to sleep, then it can begin to clean itself out of the toxins and begin to prepare you to be healthy the next day. We know that people that have poor sleep patterns as they age, Mm -hmm. we know they it's associated with a host of health problems from heart disease to high blood pressure to obesity to diabetes. So sleep has a very profound and beneficial effect in helping your body heal and recover. So the best way, if you're having problems with sleep, the best thing to do is first, Instead of going to a conventional doctor and getting on a bunch of drugs you can never get off of or have a hard time getting off of, just replenish the hormone that is beginning to decline as you mature, and that would be melatonin. And doesn't it decline around the age of 45? Somewhere in the early Mm -hmm. 40s, just like all the hormones begin to decline. Mm -hmm. The sex hormones, adrenal hormones, uh, thyroid hormones all begin to decline. And it's also considered to be an anti-aging hormone as well, right? Well, obviously, uh, the aging process is caused by the inevitable decline in our hormones Mm -hmm. and that's all our hormones including melatonin and you can imagine if you're not sleeping well as Mm -hmm. you're getting older you're not going to be well you don't have the beneficial uh, effects of a restful rejuvenating sleep which Mm -hmm. your body needs to be healthy absolutely so of course you can always get melatonin at Hotsey vitamins and you can probably see on the screen the opportunity to just go ahead and click and purchase that I would also like to encourage people for their complimentary consultation to call 281-698-8698. Very often when people come to us, sleep is just one of their problems. They're also overweight. They are tired. They have anxiety. They have a host of health problems. And so you actually owe it to yourself to have a complete complimentary health consultation. So again, that's 281-698-8698. We're so glad you joined us today here at Dr. Hootsie's Wellness Revolution. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.